Stanford taking on a new name today, becoming Stemford, as an event promoting the many wonders of science, engineering, math, and technology take over the city. I, I don't know who's more excited, the kids or the grown-ups. Today marking the first annual STEM Fest here at Mill River Park, with more than 600 parents and kids coming out to get hands-on with the many activities and games. It's always a good opportunity to give your kid a look at some different ideas, talk about nature and science a little bit. Uh, what kind of activities have stuck out to you? What, do you? what did you really, really like? I really, really liked making the goop. Well, there's a bunch of these different liquids that they put together, and they just told me to mix it, and then I had to scoop out the goop and then this. It's the field of the future, says the event's organizer creating the event after her voyage to Ireland, where she saw the success behind events like this one all over the country. So I came back and I sent a text to a bunch of math teachers and science teachers here and said, I have a really great idea. I think we could do this in Stanford. They all wrote back and said, let's do it. It's play. It's like when you do it this way, kids are engaged. They get excited about it. Kids have been go coming and going from this table and coming back to it. They haven't let it go. And it's all about teaching kids how to be in the future. And it's a fun way. It's not and companies like GE Capital are hoping these fun activities lead to more kids pursuing these career choices. The, the job is transferable through a lot of different disciplines. So as an electrical engineer, I work for a utility, I work for an oil company, and Coming right out of school, the the um, the earning potential that you have is really great. You don't have to be super genius. You don't have to be math genius either. But if you have a heart, if you love numbers and have enthusiasm, uh, I think you can do well, do very well. Today's event is really part of a big push across the country. It's no secret that STEM jobs lead the workforce today, and in fact, there's still not enough STEM talent to meet the demand. Current numbers say there are 16 million jobs available, and that grew 30% since year 2000. For its relevant news, I'm Diana Blass.